What is going on guys? Grave here today. We're going to talk about some best class setups for the stoner. I have two class setups that I'm going to show you. This is a gun that I almost have uh, completely ranked up in multiplayer. I've got it to around 51. Came into a custom game to kind of show you some things that you can be using uh, once you get completely leveled up. I'll also sh show you some things that I was using on the way kind of to getting it to max level. Let's look at this very first class. Of course, this is going to be the Perk Greed Wild Card. My usuals, Flak Jacket, Engineer, Scavenger, Gearhead, Ghost, Ninja. Always drop Engineer for forward intel if you're playing something like Team Deathmatch. Uh, stem, uh, stem Shot, Simtex, Phil Mike. Using the Burst Pistol, trying to level it up some. It's I haven't got this very far at all in multiplayer, like level 5 or 6. It is not as good as it was in the beta, but it is still a very fun gun to use. Now, when it comes to different attachments you can be using here, uh, the very first, one of the very first attachments you unlock, of course, is this three times scope, and it is still the scope I use to this day. Uh, even though that I have everything unlocked except the thermal so far uh, in multiplayer, I really do uh, like this three times scope. It is my personal favorite. Something about it at mid range, long range, you can just put tons of bullet down, uh, tons of bullets down range, take out a lot of enemies before you ever have to reload. I really do like the three times scope on there. You could run anything you want, but personal preference, this three times is really good. If you haven't tried it, you might want to try it out. I think you will enjoy it. And unlike Modern Warfare, you don't have to worry about these, you know, messing up any of your ADS times or anything like that. They, they don't affect any of those stats. I'm not running a muzzle on this weapon with this class setup. I am running the very first barrel, which is the cut down barrel, which is giving us shooting movement speed, which is phenomenal. There are some other ones here that will give you shooting movement speed as well, but they do have some cons. So I just decided to go with this very first barrel. I've kept this barrel on the whole time, even though I have everything but the t last task force barrel unlocked. And I'm not planning on going with this either because there's so many cons to it. The cut down barrel, in my opinion, just for that shooting movement speed bon uh, bonus for the pro and no cons is the best, in my opinion, on this LMG. Now, when it comes to the underbarrel, the field agent grip is really, really nice. That does give you a negative nine shooting movement speed, which is not that bad, uh, considering we've got a good bit of movement speed here with the barrel. You could also just go with the regular foregrip. I used it for the longest time until I unlocked this. And I'm not really decided yet. Um, I feel like this is nice. I mean, the horizontal recoil is control is nice. The gun is not crazy, in my opinion. I did use the infiltrator grip a lot of the time while ranking it up, and I really could not tell a massive difference in recoil between the three grips. Uh, the reason that I like this, even though it's only 5% on each thing, you do get movement speed, shooting movement speed, and aim walking movement speed, which is very helpful with an LMG because they are very, very slow. Uh, when it comes to a magazine not running anything, of course, this thing has a default magazine of 75. When it comes to the handle, the airborne elastic wrap is what you're going to want to go with. I do not have this unlocked yet, but if you do, definitely use that. If you don't have it unlocked, you know, anything here from the speed tape to the jungle grip to the serpent wrap would be the other three options that are really, really good. Pretty much the same for every gun in game. Uh, every gun has, you know, that first speed tape that's really good. And then usually the last three are really good as well, just depending on kind of what you want to use. I'm using the serpent wrap as of right now. Um, but like I said, I use that speed tape for the longest and I will be using this elastic wrap once it is unlocked. And last but not least, the Raider pad. This is another thing that I don't have unlocked just yet. It's the last you know, uh, stock in game. I've gotten down to unlocking everything up to the combat stock. Uh, the Raider stock is what you're going to want to go with, but before that, the no stock attachment or the wire stock attachment will be your best options. Um, the wire stock attachment is great. You don't have the cons of, you know, the hip fire accuracy or anything like that. But let's be honest, I would rather have 30% sprint to fire speed between these two uh, with a con of hip fire accuracy because I'm not really running around hip firing with an LMG at any time. Uh, that's not really going to work out. Even if you had a really good laser on here, you're still not going to be able to kill people consistently from the hip because LMGs and Call of Duty games are just not made to be hip fire style weapons. Now let's take a look at the uh, class with the gunfighter on it. We're going to be running Flight Jacket, Scavenger, Ghost. Of course, if you're running Team Deathmatch or playing Team Deathmatch, I would still recommend dropping Flight Jacket for forward intel. Yeah, you might get a few deaths to grenades or whatever, but the forward intel, in my opinion, in Team Deathmatch is a whole lot better. Uh, pretty much the same, you know, always same tacticals and lethals and field upgrade for me. I might swap this out every once in a while for the jammer. I kind of bounce back and forth between the jammer and the field might. They're both very, very handy. Uh, 1911 pistol. And, of course, the attachments we're going to run here, once again, three-time scope. You can go with whatever, whatever scope that you like, but I personally like the three times uh, the best. When it comes to the muzzle, I'm just using the reg regular muzzle brake. You can use things like the infantry compensator. I have used it, and I have used the SOCOM eliminator. Personally, 
I feel like the regular muzzle brake is the best. Uh, this, the, like I said before, the gun's recoil is not that bad. I have not unlocked the agency suppressor yet. I'm not sure how good it will be. I use the regular suppressor off and on. Not a big fan of the suppressor on the LMG. So I would say go with one of these two. But personally, I prefer just the regular muzzle brake. If you do not want to use this, like I said, one of these two are really good as well. Once again, the cut down barrel. I see no need in changing this. The shooting movement speed bonus is really, really nice with no cons. Uh, when it comes to the body, I'm just using a mounted flashlight. You could go with something like this 5 milliwatt laser, which is going to give you that 40% hip fire accuracy. But kind of like I said, you know, with the last class setup, this is not a gun that I'm looking to run around and hip fire with. So the mounted flashlight, the, the ability to be able to see people at distances, you can even use the target designator. Either one, really, really good. Uh, under barrel, once again, filled agent grip or the foregrip or the infiltrator grip, whichever one you prefer. I've just been trying to stick with this uh, field agent grip now that I have it unlocked, trying to kind of test to see if it's really much better than either of these two. And like I said, personally, I can't tell a whole lot of difference between it and the foregrip, but kind of personal preference depends on everybody's trigger finger, depends on how everyone, everyone can control recoil. Some people like guns, you know, to have more stability on them. Some people don't mind, you know, just to kind, of, kind of to have to, uh, or trying to have to tap fire and kind of keep the, you know, the, the recoil down, you know, just with their trigger finger. So whatever you like to run, like I said, those three options are really, really good though. But the field agent grips, what I've been going with as of late. Uh, when it comes to the magazine, I'm using the 100 round speed mag. Now the con to this is aim down sight time, but you're going to get reload quickness, starting ammo, of course, ammo capacity and that magazine ammo capacity, uh, which is going to give you 100 mags or 100 rounds in the mag, excuse me. Uh, that 5% aim down uh, sight time we can make up for with the uh, airborne elastic wrap, the serpent wrap, the uh, jungle grip, or the speed tape, whichever ones you have unlocked. Personally, if you have this unlocked, of course, you always want to go with the very last elastic wrap on any gun because that aim down sight, the flinch resistance, like I said in the past, is not the greatest. Uh, there's not a lot of flinch in game. All the flinch you get is just visual, but you will notice it every once in a while. And I just like to have that added bonus of not having to worry about, you know, an odd bit of visual flinch here and there. And when it comes to the stock, once again, the Raider pad, the no stock or the wire stock will be your best bets. But anyway, guys, I've really been enjoying the Stoner LMG. I've been using it a lot on Nuketown because you can kind of just, you know, spawn up out of the spawn and just absolutely destroy people. Because a lot of the times for people in your spawn, people just right in front of you, whatever the case may be. I've also been using this a good bit in combined arms when I do play, if I can get a game of domination. And combined arms is a really good gun to use in that as well. But overall, uh, not my favorite gun in something like Team Deathmatch or Dom or Hardpoint where I'm having to move around a lot. But if it's something that I can hold lanes, hold head glitches, that's pretty much what an LMG is made for. And that's the kind of thing you want to do with it. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've been using the Stoner LMG. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, the Community Discord, and my Twitter. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.